after watching this slowly tense optimization guide for the fourth night you can get your opponent ball in first try so guys welcome to my channel and in this video i'm going to show you the advanced guide how you can lower the input delay and latency of your system for having the lowest input delay out of your mouse and keyboard in fortnite so guys make sure to watch my this whole video if this is your first time here please subscribe drop a like on this video and with wasting any time less time straight into it so guys in the very first step we are going to configure the registry settings of our windows and we are going to configure the mouse rate accuracy settings in the registry so guys for that you need to follow this path and go for hk local machine after opening up your registry editor now go for hk local machine then go for system then go for current control set and click on the drop down of the control now you need to scroll down and find out here services click on the drop down of the services again scroll down and in this list you will find that mooc class click here on this drop down and go for the parameter and there you will find out this mouse data key size option right click here and go for the modify button and here you need to change here this value so guys here is the mouse data queue settings and guys best tested value by myself that is 20 and guys this will help you to getting the lowest input delay out of your mouse by changing these settings your mouse will skip all the useless data and that will ultimately improve your response time of your mouse so guys after changing the settings now set the space onto the hexadecimal and click on this ok button and save the settings so guys now the next step you need to download this input delay pack on your pc for the fortnite so guys link available down in the description simply download this pack from our website so guys in the very first step here you will find out time and resolution, filter key setter and interrupt affinity policy tool. So guys in the very first step you are going to use this interrupt affinity policy tool to open up this RAR file and there you will find out this multiple files. Now simply drag all these files here on your desktop. After that here is our second file that is the interrupt policy 64 bit. Now right click here and make sure to run this as administrator. After running this tool here you will find out this kind of interface and here you will find all the component of your computer like here is the audio endpoint motherboard resources but guys you need to simply scroll down and find out your usb devices so guys here you will find out this kind of the device that is the usb root hub 3.0 usb device and guys make sure to choose the same exact name after that click on this set mask option and this will take you into the processor affinity now from here you need to choose here the cpu zero for having the lowest input delay out of your mouse and keyboard now click here on this ok button and guys always make sure to use your mouse and your keyboard in usb 3.0 so guys after that you will find out this kind of message like would you like to attempt to restart your device right now so click on this no button because we are going to restart it later now click on this ok button and click on the done and guys that's it now let's go for the next step that is the filter key setter you need to open up the zip file and drag here the sexy file on your desktop and click on the replace the file destination after that here you will find out this kind of the exit file for the filter key setter so right click here and run this as administrator here you will go to this kind of interface of the filter key setter so now in the very first step you need to go for the flag option and from here check mark onto the on available and confirm activation and simply uncheck all the other boxes that is the use shortcut activation sound show status and key clicks uncheck these boxes from here now you need to go for the settings of the filter key setter and now you need to change here these values that is the ignore under set it on the 0 ms repeat delay to 50 ms repeat rate onto the 50 ms after that now go for when applied check mark onto the save to registry and click on this ok button and save the settings on your pc let's make sure to put this software on your desktop after that you need to go for the next file that is the most popular time and resolution open up the zip file drag this application on your desktop once you go to here this time resolution exit file on your pc and guys you know how to use it simply double tap here click on the maximize button and this will reduce the response time of your mouse and keyboard from your monitor so guys simply set it onto the 0.500 milliseconds and after that click on the minimize button and always keep it running in your background before playing the fortnite so guys once you configure all the settings on your pc now the final and the last step you need to open up the device manager so guys for that right click here on your windows start icon and go for the device manager now from here you need to find out the system devices option click on the drop down now scroll down and find out high precision event timer that is the hped this is also one of the reasons for having the high input delay and by disabling it you can reduce or lower your input delay so guys right click here and simply disable this device from here i have already disabled this device on my windows after that close out your device manager and now you need to one time restart your pc therefore all the changes take effect after that launch your fortnite and enjoy the lowest possible input delay of your mouse and keyboard so i hope so you love this video please make sure to drop a like subscribe to my channel and till the next video peace out